Hi, my name is Kelsey and I'm a product marketing manager at Singular. Today, I'm excited to walk you through the role of an MMP. In this video, I'll introduce how mobile attribution works, the overview of current mobile attribution landscape, and we'll discuss how mobile measurement partners are essential to marketers' success. Let's start by diving into the basics of mobile attribution. So, what is mobile attribution? Mobile attribution enables marketers to connect their marketing efforts to different engagements and events, like an app install or an in-app purchase. And what's an MMP? In short, an MMP, or a mobile measurement partner, is a third-party company that performs unbiased mobile attribution on behalf of a marketer. Now that we know those two basic definitions, let's take a look at a user's app install journey and how MMPs perform attribution. The example that we're focusing on today is a mobile or app-to-app -app deterministic attribution journey which is a standard when a device identifier is available. The attribution flow kicks off when the user sees an ad campaign within a mobile app. They're gonna click on the ad and then they're redirected to the relevant app store and page. In the background, the MMP is actually notified of that click and stores the relevant click information for later use. Next, the user downloads and opens the app. And again, in the background, when the app is installed and opened, the MMP is sent the install information, which is then matched to the touch point or the click from that original marketing ad that we just referenced. Once the match is made, the MMP can determine the attribution decision and relays credit through a partner postback. This is then sent to the relevant ad network or source that hosted the marketing campaign. Now that we address the most common user journey for mobile apps, we're going to take a look at a big industry change that has disrupted the iOS app journey for marketers. SK Ad Network, or SCAN for short, is a privacy safe framework that Apple developed to handle iOS mobile app attribution. The spirit of SK Ad Network is to enable marketers to still measure their campaign performance and user engagements while protecting sensitive user data. SK Ad Network is definitely a deterministic attribution method, but it doesn't actually use the device's IDFA. Alongside SK Ad Network, Apple simultaneously released a new privacy data collection policy. ATT, or App Tracking Transparency, actually requires marketers to request consent from users to track their engagements across apps and websites. Now let's look at how we can attribute the user journey within SK Ad Network's framework. For context, SK Ad Network applies to all paid or owned app-to-app -app installs and events, regardless of whether ATT consent is received. If the user does end up giving ATT consent, the MMP will be able to simultaneously run traditional attribution. There are quite a few distinct differences between the SK Ad Network attribution flow and the flow we discussed earlier. So let's go ahead and dive in. A user clicks on an SK Ad Network specific ad and is directed to the App Store. From here on out, almost everything is different. <laughs> The publishing app and the network provide the app store some basic attribution parameters. And after the user installs and launches the app, the advertised app will then update a conversion value to represent that install that just happened. The device will then send the attached attribution parameters and the conversion value, notifying the network of a successful conversion. The notification to the network, or a postback, is on a random 24-hour timer that starts after that app launch. No device or user identifying information is actually shared. The advertised app also does not receive any information about the original ad or publisher, um, and this is allowing the network to know that an install has happened but the install is not actually tied to a specific user, which preserves the user's privacy. 
Outside of the notification delay, Apple's also implemented a privacy threshold barrier. And if this threshold barrier is not met, some post-install data and certain granularities will not be recorded on the install postback notification. Apple has not publicly defined the privacy thresholds, but many in the industry have come to some conclusions on what those thresholds might be. But that doesn't mean that they're not still a big, big challenge. So next, we're going to go ahead and look at what these differences mean for industry players, how data is being changed, and why a tool like an MMP is still crucial for the success of mobile marketers. Apple's enforcement of ATT and SKAdnorc have led to fundamental changes in mobile app attribution. The mechanics of running and optimizing campaigns are very different and have added additional hurdles to the entire ecosystem. While SK Ad Network is undoubtedly the future of iOS measurement and all industry players and marketers need to adopt it, there are still many limitations and shortcomings that create challenges for marketers today. So we're going to dive into some of those top challenges. First, Marketers are now responsible for collecting raw SK Ad Network postbacks. Second, due to limited granularities, raw SK Ad Network postbacks need to be enriched with other data sets like campaign and cost data from networks. Without data enrichment, marketers wouldn't actually have a readable campaign name. Third, post install data is only represented on raw SK Ad Network postbacks by conversion values, which are numerical bits that need to be translated and decoded into the actual event names that they represent. And lastly, data censorship. This is probably the most significant challenge marketers are facing. According to Singular's data, on average, 21% of SK Ad Network performance data is unreported by Apple due to data privacy threshold censorship. That's a lot of data that you don't have in order to continue to optimize. And this isn't even an exhaustive list. SK Ad Network has been a defining moment for privacy, which is fantastic, but it's also left marketers with the challenge of overcoming these massive blockers. And that's where MMPs come in. As an unbiased third-party arbiter of attribution data, solutions like Singular's next-gen attribution and analytics are perfectly positioned to help marketers tackle these challenges. Singular's pillars of measurement are built with marketers in mind, helping to collect, standardize, and join disparate data sets at different granularities. To overcome the many SK Ad Network challenges and continue to provide marketers with full visibility into their data, Despite privacy thresholds, Singular has developed Scan Advanced Analytics, which is designed to model out missing SK Ad Network data that Apple censors, offering marketers deeper predictive insights and suggestions around SK Ad Network performance and conversion model optimizations. The future of mobile measurement is definitely privacy first, and specifically on iOS, a single view that brings back reliable KPIs, cohorts, and ROAS analysis. Together, we believe that MMPs, marketers, and media platforms can collaborate to tackle today's and tomorrow's challenges with privacy-first mindsets. Thank you so much for watching. Today, we're just able to scratch the surface. Obviously, SK Ad Network is a very nuanced topic and there's a lot of details to dive into. So if you have any questions about the industry, about SK Ad Network, or anything else that we weren't able to cover today, don't hesitate to reach out and we'll get you set up with a singular expert. Thanks.